Did you know that roughly 22% of all internet users around the world listen to podcasts? People use podcasts to learn more about their favorite topics, be it history, current events, or in our case, language learning. So if you're part of that 22% that uses podcasts to learn languages, you're in the right place because today here at Jive World, we're talking about how to use podcasts better to make progress in virtually any language you want. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up, before you can even start listening, one thing that's really important to understand is the different kinds of language podcasts that are out there and what purpose they're gonna serve to you. You know, knowing what you're looking for and how it's gonna fit into your language learning routine is a really, really important step that a lot of language learners kind of gloss over. So for instance, there are podcasts that are meant for complete beginners. And these are podcasts that are usually mostly in another language. So this could be, for example, like a Spanish learning podcast that introduces vocab and phrases to you through English. English mostly so that they can explain them and give a little bit of context and you're not just you know learning a hundred percent in Spanish you know there are also intermediate language podcasts that could very well be fully in the target language but maybe they're just you know spoken slowly or they use more simple language but then there are also podcasts that are just at full speed native speech and these could be directed to learners just for immersion but there's also just you know podcasts that are meant for native speakers which are also great to consume and each kind of language podcast does serve its own purpose but that purpose is up for you to decide based on you know your level and your personal goals but don't restrict yourself to just one kind of podcast you know if you're a complete beginner Yes, you should listen to a beginner podcast to get familiar with vocabulary and the foundations, but that doesn't mean that that's the only kind of audio content you can consume. You could also listen to a fully you know, native speed podcast in the background while you do chores or you're on your morning commute just to kind of get familiarized with the overall tone of the language because you know that long-term just background exposure does make a difference in the long run. With that said, let's move on to my next tip for you guys, which is to focus mostly on comprehensible input. And you might be thinking, Oh my gosh, that is such a long word. Comprehensible input, what does that mean? Comprehensible input basically just means content that you understand anywhere from 70 to 90% of. So you're in what we like to call the optimal learning zone, which basically just means that you understand most of it, but you're still confronted with new words, new phrases, new grammatical structures maybe, so it's still a little bit of a challenge for you, but there's still room for growth. And for you personally, as a language learner, the definition of what comprehensible input is, is gonna change and shift over time, you know? Because when you're a beginner, a complete beginner, you know, a children's book could be comprehensible input for you because you can make very basic sentences, but you still don't know all your food words or all your colors or your animal words. But then down the line, once you get to like an upper intermediate level, suddenly, you know, a political talk show is your comprehensible input because you can communicate very well keep up with you know complex conversations, but maybe you just don't have all the political vocabulary. There are a lot of videos about comprehensible input on YouTube, so if you wanna learn more about it, you can, but let us know if you want us to do a more in-depth video on the topic. So when you pick a podcast in your target language, do not feel discouraged if you know now and then there's a couple words or phrases that you don't understand because that is your opportunity for growth. Now, next up, one of the best ways to utilize podcasts for language learning is learning both through active and passive listening, not just one the other. And if you're going for an active approach, Jai World is the perfect example of how to do that because on our app you can study with a full transcript, vocab notes, you can change the playback speed. In general, it's just a much more involved listening process. But there's also something to be said for passive listening. So, you know, if you're in a situation where you're trying to multitask, you maybe don't have enough energy to sit down and do a full intense listening session. If you're someone who listens to language podcasts a lot, try alternating these different kinds of approaches so that when you listen to a podcast, to learn a language, it doesn't just mean one kind of experience for you. You know, there's a lot of ways to apply podcasts in both active and passive contexts, so you know, it's up to you to kind of try out those different activities and find something that works best for you. Now, let's get more specific about things that you should do while you listen. And one of those things is vocab related. So it's to write down 10 to 15 new words per listening session. If you want to learn new vocab at a steady pace while also accounting for words that you have to review, I'd say that 10 to 15 words per day is really like the magic number. And this pairs really, really well with comprehensible input, like I mentioned earlier. Because, you know, you're not having to write down a ton of words. You understand 
understand most of what's going on, right? But even if your goal is vocab acquisition, when you listen to a podcast, don't go chasing after every single word that you don't know. It's, a, it's not a good investment of your energy, trust me. I'll probably mention this in another video in the future, but focus first on the words that are most relevant and most realistic for you. You know, vocabulary that you can envision yourself using in the present or in the very near future if it complements, you know, knowledge and vocabulary that you already have. So for example, if you're listening to a podcast and they start talking about like legal disputes and you never get into situations where you would need those words, just leave them to the side for now. Okay, for now. Just for now. You know, you just have to prioritize words that might be more relevant to you first. And lastly, a tip that you should always keep in mind when it comes to listening to podcasts is when in doubt, if you do not understand something, just try to get the gist. And people talk about this this gist all the time. You know, what is the gist? How do I get the gist? Where is it? This could be listening for keywords. You know, if you know the topic of the podcast or the podcast episode, it's easier to get familiar with the vocabulary. Being able to distinguish between, you know, the speaker's main ideas and their secondary ideas and listening to their tone, most importantly, because it's a podcast, you know, it's not a conversation. You're not sitting there listening to somebody face to face. There's not body language or other visual distractions, you know, it's just you and the language. And those kinds of things play into the gist. So in conclusion, if you're going to use podcasts to learn languages, you got to use them right. So I hope you guys will take these points into consideration for your next podcast listening session. If you have any further tips for your fellow language learners, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comments. And thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share it, send it to your grandmother. Don't be a gatekeeper. Come on. Happy listening, happy learning, and stay Jive World Fluent. See you next time. Bye-bye.